and welcome to the Simple Life Blog with your favorite host, Miss Coco Bowden, right here on this beautiful Friday morning. It's a beautiful Friday morning. It started out a little ro- rocky for me, though, y'all. It started out a little rocky for me, and that's why I decided to come on and do this blog because ugh, I have to just get some stuff off my chest. I have to get it off my chest because it weighs so heavy on me sometimes. And I know I'm not supposed to feel like this, but you know, it does come about sometimes. So what I'm talking about today is going to be understanding me and my funny ways. Me and my funny ways, nobody, well they call them funny ways, to me it's normal. Um, And we're talking about allergic reactions. I am allergic to so many different things till it's like people don't like me because I'm allergic to this and I'm allergic to that. and they say I'm trying to be funny or I'm trying to be all that or always have things my way and stuff like that. But it's it's not true. Truth in the matter is it hurts me inside personally to be so allergic to so many things, to be so sensitive, so skin sensitive to so many things till I'm frustrated. I feel like nobody understands me. Nobody understands me. It's, it's been times like, for instance, and I know I'm just jumping on into this because this is how I'm feeling in this moment. It's been times like I would send somebody to the store to buy some deordered or something. And if they didn't come back with the right kind of deordered, I got very frustrated easily, not because they didn't come back with the right deordered, but because they didn't understand the reason I, I, I always tell people, hey, I got funny allergies. And so I may not be able to use that, but I can use that. And so when they come back with the wrong thing, I, I feel like they are just thinking, well, I get her this and she won't know the difference in it. But let me tell you something. When a person is super allergic and very sensitive like I am, everything matters. Everything counts. One mistake could cost a person their life. Just one little mistake. And I'm telling y'all, this morning, you know my nerves is just, I know the devil is messing for one thing, because anytime God gets ready to bless, that's when the devil wants to throw his little mess mess in there. So I have been sick all this week, and for the last, For the last three weeks, I've been dealing with a a sprain back, not getting out exercising, not not doing anything, really just trying to relax. But in this period of time, I have gained some weight. And I feel this weight is on me heavy. And, And it's making it worse for me. So I said this morning, I said, Lord, give me the strength to get up and get out this door and walk to help myself out because I feel like a body in motion that that can get a, rid of a lot of sickness right there so what happens is I begin to walk this morning and before I get where I'm going I'm having to try and hurry up and run and get get back to the house and I'm a big woman I'm a big woman my back already strong I'm running from people dogs people dogs that's how this guy started this morning running from people's dogs they don't understand I'm allergic to them they won't put the dogs up and here I am I'm in my own yard having to run from somebody's dog and I don't go to people's yards and I don't don't tell people what to do with their animals and stuff all I ask is that they keep them up out of my yard because I know what it can do to me and so that's how we get on the subject today of my funny ways my funny ways am I scared of dogs (laughs) <laughs> Anything with teeth, I'm scared of. I'm scared of people with teeth. <laughs> but in this instance, I am very scared of dogs, not because of the teeth. I'm very scared of dogs because they happen to carry something on them called pet dander. That if it if too much of it gets around me, it can take my breath away. It could cause my lungs to start spasming, my bronco tubes to start closing and swelling up it can cause my tongue to swell and fold back into my throat so yes I do have that fear of dogs because I am so super sensitive 
and allergic to the pet dinners that come along with dogs. And I can't get people to understand that. So that's how I got on the subject of my funny ways. My funny ways. So I'm going to spin y'all a song. And then we're going to come right back. And I'm going to tell you some other things that I'm allergic to also. And I'm putting this out there because I know I'm not the only one that's like that. And you probably can hear my throat. Just been around them that little bit of time. <clears throat> Actually, I need to do that cough when I first started with it clearing my throat. But actually, just being around them and the wind carries their, their hair and stuff and it gets on you. Just being in that close of area is enough to make me, you know, really sick. It's enough to make me really sick while in long months of treatment, trying to get well and trying to get my lungs back right, trying to get the swelling down. It's, it's very dangerous, and so that's why I'm talking about it today, right here on the Simple Life blog. Let me find a, I want to find a happy song, because I'm not going to stay in this mood like this. No, 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 not me. Every now and then, you come across one of those songs that just make you feel happy. Well, this is one of those songs. Lost in the world, can't find myself, can't escape, can't save. Keep struggling, ain't got no destiny. Traveling a life of abandoned man, no true can't be. Victory. But you can be sure that it lives. 
right there, Melissa Hayward, right here on the Simple Life Blah. Ding a ding a ding a ding a ding with Miss Coco Bowden. Okay, y'all, so we're talking about my funny ways. My funny ways. Why is Coco so funny? Why does she don't eat here? Why she don't eat there? Why she come to cookouts late? Why she leave from cookouts early? Why she don't use this kind of soap? Why she don't use that kind of lotion? <laughs> Y'all, my life is crazy. My life is crazy. And trust me, it took me, I'm 39 years old now, getting ready to be 40 in August. If the Lord's will, woo woo, will be 40 in August. And I'm going to tell you, it took me every bit of these 39 years to learn my body. Every bit of these 39 years. My mama always said that. When I was a baby, I was sickly, and, and she said I always had breathing trouble. But I didn't know what she really meant. And I know growing up, I always was, um, y'all remember the little Vicks inhaler thing and, and the Ludens cough drops and stuff like that? I always kept those on me at nighttime. I always had to have a humidifier to breathe. It just, ugh, it was just so much that I had to do even as a little girl to make it by. I remember my mama's bill. <laughs> my mama's bill at the side store. She'd be like, who's getting all these um, inhalers? Y'all remember the Promethine Mist inhalers? I used to have to go to the store and buy them, and they make my heart feel like it's going to bust and stuff just to try to open up my lungs and, and get some air. And so we're, we're talking about my funny ways. People don't understand my funny ways are not what, where I really want to be. I don't want to be funny. I wish I was normal. I wish I was normal. But to me, this is normal now. This is normal now to me. Um, okay, for instance, cookouts. Cookouts. I've cooked on the grill all my life, the majority of my life. The majority of my life, I cooked on the grill, especially when I got older. I would cook out every day, have parties like, y'all, I used to be a partier. So I did it about every day. Every day I was out there partying, always had something on the grill. I would even have people come over and we have contests cooking on the grill. Who had the best dish? I was a good grill master. But then, um... One of my last parties, it was a birthday party that we had for me, my sister, and my brother. We had a birthday party. And I noticed that throughout the years, every time I have a cookout, I end up with bronchitis, right? Immediately, like like a couple hours within starting to cook and stuff. I end up with bronchitis and would start coughing and flame everywhere. And finally, at this birthday party, me and my brother cooked out. And I said, well, I'm going to eat some of these hot dogs. So I ate some of the hot dogs that came off the grill. And that was about the only thing I ate that night because I was a drinker back then. I was a drinker back then too. So, so you know, when you're drinking, you don't really be trying. You just try to eat a little piece of meat and keep going, right? <laughs> don't act like y'all ain't never been there. But that's how it used to roll for me anyway. Thank God for deliverance. But I did that, and we had a plan to trip to go to South Carolina, leaving midnight, leaving at midnight. We got to South Carolina down there, Mullins, South Carolina. I probably spelled that wrong on Facebook, too, now that I think about it. But we got down there to Mullins, South Carolina, and all of a sudden, my tongue starts to swell. I can't swallow. I feel my throat getting big. And I'm like, y'all, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. And...